President Trump is on the verge of losing Rush Limbaugh. You know things have gotten bad. We might even be near the bottom of the barrel. <laughs> That's how far he has gone. Now, this is on the issue of the NFL owners and telling them over and over again to make sure that their players stand for the national anthem. Otherwise, there's gonna be repercussions, financial consequences, taking away their tax breaks, etc. Maybe that's what touched a raw nerve for Rush Limbaugh. Taking away tax breaks from billionaire Republicans. No, 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 now you've gone too far. So here's Rush Limbaugh, believe it or not, criticizing Donald Trump on that issue. I am very uncomfortable with the President of the United States being able to dictate the behavior and power, or the behavior and, and all of anybody. That's not where this should be coming from. Trump is continually tweeting, and I know what he's doing, and I understand why he's doing it, and his motives are pure, don't misunderstand. But I don't think that it is useful or helpful for any employee anywhere to be forced to do something because the government says they must. That scares the hell out of me. I'm really nervous if all that happens because the president makes it happen. I, he can make it happen by forcing the owners. But this is a slippery slope to me and it, it, it hit me a while ago and crystallized last night. Uh, Trump is in the right, don't misunderstand, but no president should have dictatorial power over individual behavior. Wow, he just said dictatorial power in reference to Donald J. Trump. Man, is there a person Donald Trump has not lost in the country? So uh, let's break this down. Now don't get Rush Limbaugh wrong, he, he's not on the player side. Uh, Protests over police brutality, <laughs> of course not. We'll get to a clip on that in a second. Uh, should the owners be able to crush their players? Of course, right? But when the government tells you what you have to do, well, then we've got trouble and it's, he says that he, it scares the hell out of them. Uh, he's actually right about that. Now, again, I, I, I think probably he's concerned now, not because it has reached the average American, but it now affects billionaires and so, He's saying that that's a step too far. Now remember, in our form of legalized bribery and corruption in this country, the billionaires own the government, not vice versa. The billionaires tell the legislators what to do, not vice versa. Now having said that, of course he's right about the Constitution. I want the president preventing speech from anybody. And and in this context, of course it's scary and potentially dictatorial when he says, if you don't do as I tell you to do, I'm gonna take away your rights. That is of course un-American. And it's so un-American, it's even made Rush Limbaugh, quote, very uncomfortable. But he wants to double down and say, look, don't get me wrong, his intentions are pure and he's a wonderful guy and he's right about the issues and don't, I, I hate the players and their protests, don't get me wrong, I'm still a dick. So here's that part. This should come from the league as it looks like Goodell wants it to. This should, the owners should be demanding this, not the president. The commissioner should be demanding this, not the president. We don't want the president being able to demand anybody that he's unhappy with behave in a way he requires. This is a workplace issue. It's the owners and the league that let this get out of hand because they didn't know how to deal with it or were afraid to. And it, if this is gonna be made to work, the players are gonna have to be told who the boss is. And they're gonna have to be given specific workplace rules and regulations that they know has nothing to do with the Constitution, the First Amendment, freedom of speech. If you wanna work for the Tampa Bay Buccaneers, you are gonna stand for the anthem. If you wanna work for the Dallas Cowboys, you're gonna stand for the anthem. So don't get Rush wrong. <laughs> He doesn't want to be on the right side of an issue too much. A broken clock is only right twice a day, and I want to be right more than that. So he's like, look, the players should tell the players who the boss is. Okay, now remember, you're protesting police brutality, it doesn't matter, I'm the boss of you. Okay, okay, thank you, Rush, for clarifying your position and making sure that the world is still spinning in the right direction. Okay, we understand that, but again, 
Rush Limbaugh, who had always wanted a strong, strong leader with his authoritarian tendencies, come to find out that when you do have a guy who has those authoritarian tendencies in office, maybe he tells you what to do. And he's like, wait a minute, I didn't want that. I just wanted him to tell poor people and minorities and the middle class what to do, not rich people. That's a bridge too far. So that's where we are at a bridge too far. Tick tock, tick tock for Donald Trump with almost no allies left. TYT membership gets you commercial free Young Turks, download it, stream it, podcast it, get all the network shows and support independent media. TYTnetwork.com slash join.